Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear students, today I am going to discuss the most important multiple choice questions of anatomy and physiology, semester second, special five senses. I. Question number one: Hey, visible light is a part of electromagnetic spectrum with wavelength ranging from about 450 to 750 nanometer, 400 to 700 nanometer. 480 to 780 nanometer and D number option 300 to 700 nanometer. The correct option is already highlighted 400 to 700 nanometer. Question number two. Infection of the tarsal glands produces a tumor assist on the eyelid called dacrocystitis B. Sty. Option number C. Blood shots I. And option number D, Kerazian. The correct option is already selected. Question number three. Infection of the sebaceous ciliary glands usually by the bacteria is option A, Kerazian, option B, Stye, option C, Bloodshot I, and option D, Decroset cystitis. Option B is the Correct options tie. Question number four. All of these accessory structure of the eye except eyelashes. Option B eyelids. Option C eye brows. And option D cornea. The correct option is cornea. Question number five. Pupil dilate is radial muscle of iris contract by dash stimulation and dim light. Option A, parasympathetic. Option B, sympathetic. Option C, neurotransmitter. And option D, all of the above. The correct option is sympathetic stimulation. Question number 6. Pupil constrict is circular muscle of iris contract by dash stimulation in bright light option a parasympathetic option b sympathetic option c neurotransmitter and option d all of the above the correct option is option a parasympathetic question number seven the area of the eye where highest visual acuity is option a macula lutea option b optic disc option c foia centralis and option d none of these the correct option is foia centralis question number eight the foia centralis is a small depression in the center of macula lutea contained rod cell option b Corn cells, option C, emacrine cells, option D, both A and B. The correct option is corn cell. Question number 9. The pressure in the eye are called interocular pressure, option B, intraocular pressure, option C, ocular pressure, option D, all of them. The correct option is intraocular pressure. Question number 10. Normally, eye pressure is produced mainly aqueous humor and partly vitreous body is about option A, 18 mm of Hg, option B, 16 mm of Hg, option C, 10 mm of Hg, option D, 20 mm of Hg. The correct option is 16 mm of Hg. Question number 11. The increase and the curvature of lens for near vision is called option A more refraction, option B accommodation, option C A and B is correct, option D none of these. Both A and B is the correct option. Question number 12. The person who can see close object very clearly but not see distant object is what type of abnormality? Option A, myopia. Option B, 
hyperopia, option C, presbyopia, and option D, emetropia. The correct option is myopia. Question number 13. The person who can see distant object very clearly but not see the near object is what type of the abnormality? Option A, myopia. Option B, hyperopia. Option C, presbyopia. And option D, emetropia. The correct option is highlighted hyperopia. Question number 14. In hyperopia, the eyeball length is short relative to the focusing power of the cornea and lens. So an image make on option A, behind the retina, option B, on the retina, option C, in front of the retina, option D, beside of the retina. The correct option is option A, behind the retina. Question number 15. In myopia, the eyeball length is too long relative to the focusing power of the cornea and lens. So image make on option A behind the retina, option B on the retina, option C in front of retina, option D beside of retina. The correct option is in front of retina. Question number 16. The scientific study of the eye and disorder is known as Option A. Ophthalmologist Option B. Ophthalmology Option C. Ophthalmia and Option D. Ophthalmoscopy The correct option is Ophthalmology Question number 18 In retina, visual signals pass from dash to dash to Dash. Option A. Photoreceptor to bipolar cells to ganglion cells. Option B. Exon terminal to photoreceptor to bipolar, bipolar cells. Option C. Ganglion cells to bipolar to photoreceptors. Option D. Bipolar to ganglion to photoreceptor cells. Answer is photoreceptor to bipolar cells to ganglion cells. Question number 18. The lens power and elasticity losses with aging or older age. The condition is known as option A, emetropia, option B, hyperopia, option C, presbyopia, option D, myopia. The correct option is presbyopia. Question number 19. The most common type of the refractive surgery for myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism is option A, ophthalmoscopy, option B, ocular migraine, option C, LASIK, option D, all options are correct. The correct surgery, refractive surgery for myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism is LASIK. Question number 20. The person who cannot distinguish between red and green prolonged deficiency of vitamin A and the resulting below normal amount of rhodopsin may cause what? An ability to see at low level light. Option A. Myopia. Option B. Hyperopia. Option C. Emetropia. Option D. Nectalopia. The correct option is already highlighted nectalopia is the with, uh, deficiency of vitamin a and uh, not distinguish between red and green color question 